President Trump is vowing to end government attacks on religious liberty. Signing a new executive order, the president says will make sure Americans are not forced to violate their strongly held religious beliefs. He also made a promise to the Little Sisters of the Poor. Correspondent Wyatt Goolsby was there and joins us from the White House. Good evening, Wyatt. Lauren, good evening. After nearly five years and numerous court battles, President Trump tells the Little Sisters of the Poor, your ordeal will soon be over. The president says the sisters and other groups have been pressured for too long to violate their conscience. President Trump marks the National Day of Prayer with a boost to religious freedom. We will not allow people of faith to be targeted, bullied, or silenced anymore. The order promises relief for groups with religious objections to the Health and Human Services mandate in Obamacare. That mandate requires employers, like the Little Sisters of the Poor, to cover birth control and abortion-inducing drugs. Incredible nuns who care for the sick, the elderly, and the forgotten. President Trump inviting the sisters up on stage and vowing to protect their conscience rights. No American should be forced to choose between the dictates of the federal government and the tenets of their faith. That gives Cardinal Donald Worrell, Archbishop of Washington, a reason to be optimistic. This executive order has to do not only with individual freedom, but institutional freedom. The freedom of a church to determine what constitutes its mission, its ministry. The order also asked the IRS to cut back on enforcing the Johnson Amendment. It bars churches and tax-exempt groups from endorsing political candidates. The Faith and Freedom Coalition, which represents conservative Christians, welcomes the move. This executive order itself is going to alleviate a lot of, um, of pressure and, and potential threats uh, against uh, faith-based, uh, certainly churches themselves, but other faith-based organizations. But the order isn't pleasing all conservative groups. The Alliance Defending Freedom, a Christian law firm, says the order doesn't do enough to defend religious freedom. They call Trump's pledge too vague. Lauren? Why, we should also mention that EWTN was involved in suing the Department of Health and Human Services as well. Now, are there any specifics about the relief the president is talking about for groups who say the HHS mandate violates their conscience? Well, we know President Trump says this executive order instructs the IRS not to unfairly target churches and religious organizations for political speech, saying, quote, no one should be censoring sermons or targeting pastors. The order also states that the attorney general should issue guidance interpreting religious liberty protections in federal law. Now, many details as to what this means and how it will play out is still to come. Lauren? Wyatt Goolsby reporting at the White House. Thank you, Wyatt.